Good morning, folks. We're back at them. Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Fishing with Larry today. Good morning. How are you? Good. We're drinking our coffee here this morning, and cheers. We're about to go down to a little dock and do some bank fishing, dock fishing for crappie here on Lake Gunnersville. Um, what do you say? Whoever catches the biggest one, the other person has to flay them. Yeah. We, we can do that. Okay. They we got us. They got them a nice fillet station here. I've never used it. Have you? No, sir. Okay. I, just, I don't even know where they put it at. Ah, we'll go find it. But we're here at Goose Pond. We're right here at Goose Pond. They got the shop opened up. Oh, somebody's catching one right now. I'm excited. Down there, yeah, it? we're gonna get down there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, guys. Let's go get them. It's gonna be a fun day. Larry, we're gonna need this net today. We're gonna catch us a three pounder. All right. All right. It might not even fit in the net. All right, I'll show you what you, we're using when we get down there. But I'm excited. It's gonna be my first time fishing on this dock. When you see people loaded on it, you know they're biting. <laughs> Morning. We're out here fishing. That's better than that. They biting? They're not? Not biting? People don't understand when you get old, you appreciate it. Don't you? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Wow, I'm rigging up. Larry, I've I turned my camera a, on for that. I have snagged a shad. <laughs> if I catch a crappie that's eating that, that big of a shad, we're going to be in business. We're going to be in business. There, I'll even take them <laughs> off for you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're getting a double jig rig I set up. If you need it, Andrew. Oh, thanks, Larry. I'll just use my teeth. and We got the double jig rig set up. Basically two monkey milk colors with 124th ounce jigs. I got six pound test. There's some giants in here. And then I think people are also doing this at the dock. Word's getting out, but we'll see how it works today. Got that new minnow candy pink one. Love it. So good. Did you just break off a big one over there? Yeah. Oh man. Well shoot. You can't dot throw most of these fish. They uh You got you wrapped around a pole, huh? Yeah. That's first time it's happened there. Oh bummer. Let's see. That slow fall is what these fish want when it's cold. And it is cold. I got my gloves, but I'm not going to use them yet. Yeah, I've watched several of your videos. I, Thank you, man. I, I, I enjoy it when I uh, couldn't uh, get out and go fishing because I was working on a damn boat. <laughs> yeah. Watch there it. he is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a baby yellow. Yellow. Wow. That's what I missed a minute ago. There he is. Little white. There he is, another one, man. I found the little yellow bass. They're trying to tear the tail off my jig. Yeah, you got a giant one over there. There he is. Thought that one was gonna be a crappie. Another one. There's one, giant. <laughs> Just solid crappie. Solid crappie. Bring my camera down. Yeah. Oh, they bring it. 
There you go. Bacon. That's some bacon. bacon. Funny. <laughs> he felt bigger, huh? I let it. Oh, he got to take. Come in, he sees that net. I got him hooked in the gill. <laughs> nice. I let it go to the bottom and I started shaking it. Right now, I showed you and I guess it took the water. What you got? What you get? Oh, you got that uh, ghost. Yep. And that's what I catch. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. There he is. Yep. He did not eat the black and chartreuse on the bottom. He came up. I don't know if he's going to go nine. He'd be close. He might. You got a board? Yeah, I see it. Let's see. He is. Yeah, he looks like he's nine and a half. Oh yeah, he's nine and three quarters. Number one for the day, almost a ten inch. Baby, but he's gonna measure. He's gonna hit the. He's gonna hit the grease. That's what I get for everything I thought they did it to get it. I thought that one was going to look like that. Did one. you? I didn't even check it. Nine and a quarter. <laughs> yeah, I know it. All right. There you go. Think he'll jump over to that one? Yeah, he'll go get that when he sees it. Get it bounce another time or two. You bring your little bag in? No.
There he goes. He said, thanks. Thanks, partner. <laughs> you made his day right there. Wow. Slide down his neck. <laughs> he said thanks. <laughs> that made the whole trip worth it right there. I caught three. <laughs> They're in here. Lawrence is a they were like I've that. Seen that one down there when you broke yeah, off. I've lost two like that, so I probably should have netted them. There he is. Another good one. You hit them over now. Yep. <laughs> That's a 12 incher. We're on them now. So that big, big one hit my black and chartreuse, and this guy hit my my clear translucent one. Cool. This took one minute to fire up. Well, that's a lot of work on that GoPro. <laughs> yeah. I got my brother-in-law on 3 j Fab Rock Mountain. Yeah. And they build razor cages and stuff like that too. And his buddy's girlfriend runs there. They're like 12 GoPros they have. Oh, wow. And she has to put them on Rock Mountains at the tournament. There he is. Uh -oh. oh, that's a big one. Gosh. Oh man, that's a 15 incher right there, boy. Woo! That's old big. Yeah. That's old big. Both flipping them. Tested straight that line. That's it. Man, I hooked him so good. I got some. Uh, Gosh, my hook bent all the way out. I better not boat flip another one of them. My hook is straight. Do you? I might borrow those from you. Thank you. Oh. I better put a new hook on after that. My goodness. Ooh, I don't like that. Put some stress on that. Yeah. Yeah, that hook bent out. 15 incher. We'll take it. Okay, we just caught our first slab of the day. I'm talking a true slab here. I'm excited. Let's get back in there, see what really lives down there. Look at that, that's a bucket mouth. Let's go. Yeah, they will. That's three in a row, four in a row. Oh, he's on that same one that bent out. I don't have my net over here, I need to take <laughs> there we go, folks. Putting it to him now. Putting it to him. Now. Nice when the started. What? It's nice when the yeah, it is. Those are the good ones. Missed it. Set the hook on one, and my top one caught a shed. <laughs> That's what they're eating right there. What? I'll throw them on my hook. Let's see what happens. I bet they're gonna eat it. That'd be cool. My jig's falling off of the one I put him on. I need to. Need to go walk to that end and get my, my jig box. Oh. 
I'm gonna go get my jig box. That's nuts. That's nuts. What a year. Back in Missouri, I moved down here about three years ago, and we'd ice fish all winter and have about two months of good ice. I'd flay three, four thousand fish a winter, and I wouldn't keep a fish the rest of the year. I'd just bass fish. And yeah. During the winter time, though, man, bluegill and crappie, we flayed so many. Oh, they're my favorite. If you can get a good one, they eat better than crappie. There he is. Oh, yep. All right, I brought my net over now. We're not playing around anymore. That's a stud. <laughs> Gosh. He broke me off. There's one for you, Monty. That, that's not the biggest one either. That's a giant. That's another 50, one close to 15 inches. <laughs> Black and chartreuse. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. You betcha. We got a net down here now. There you go. That's it. And nice and easy to net them. That's a good one. Nice one, Dust. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. All right. That guy broke me off. I had to retie. Loot not. He broke me off after I netted him. Thank goodness. That's a big one. Man, we got some big ones in here. Look at this bucket. That's that one I just caught right there. Old giant. Old giant. Whew. There he is. That one hit it like a crappie. Yeah, that one will keep. There he is. Good one. That's another stud. Thank you, Steve, dude. Dad. Woo! Another one that won't fit in the bucket. He, he, there he is, begging. Oh, begging. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. Oh, I haven't even seen him yet. Take your room. <laughs> that's old giant right there. If that's a. Don't get me don't around get that, that post. Dot, don't get me around that post. God, no, Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Monty. Oh, he felt big because I got him right outside the mouth. Yeah. He swiped at it. Good job. Thank you, thank you. Good we got that thump gel on there. <laughs> you know it. You know that they are chasing it. Another one that won't fit in the bucket. Get it. <laughs> Thanks for the net. Woo! -wee. He ate that black and chartreuse. Swiped at it. That's fun right there. There he is. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Where you at? Get over here. Woo! Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, my jig's caught. Well, let me just try and get it out of there for you. Come on, it dropped all the way down through there. No doubt. Should have brought my ego net. There we go. Thank you, Larry. Yeah. Man, that's another hoss. Wider than the bucket. Gosh. You got another one? Get him. 
All right, he's dropping a camera down to him. That's what they Look say. at him. Oh my gosh. That's a stud right there. We'll I don't know if we can see it on there. If you guys can see it on the reflection or not. Damn, no wonder they ain't biting too good. Crappie all around that Look camera. at that, that's all crappie. Oh There's my gosh. There's some sand mixed There's in. Crappie. That's a crappie. That's a nice mm -hmm. one. Wow. Well, we that's a cool know. little handheld. What Peter, kind is that? That's an aqua view. Oh yeah, the aqua view. Wow. Here. Lord, look at here. Look, oh they don't gosh. even move. Oh my gosh. Look at them. There's so many crappie in there. Wow. Let me spin it. There we go. All right. Oh my gosh. Just straight down. Bye. That's crazy. Woo, we got some giants, folks. We're about to go flay them up and take them home. I'm going to show you this flay station they got up here at Goose Pond. It's pretty sweet. But we're just fishing the docks. If you guys live around here, you know where this is at. And a lot of people fishing this morning. Probably eight to ten of us on the dock all morning. I think we caught the biggest ones. Thank the good Lord. That was amazing. Let's go flay them up. Yeah, they were giants, man. Holy crap. They're all... So they've started the biggest when they did here. Look at them. They're all big. <laughs> it was a good day. Alright, we'll see you, Robbie. Thank you. You too. Alright, back at the Goose Pond campground here. We got a nice little play station. Go flame them up real quick. Bucket's full. It's heavy for not very many crappie. It's heavy. I think we got about about 15 in there probably. Old bubble blade. And then we go ahead and get some water going I like to play on a little water okay we'll grab one of these little little 13 inches out this fifth 16 incher makes him look small that's crazy Woo. okay flaying these I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way Go right down there, turn them out, get the whole flay off, and then take your knife, go right along the ribs just like that, boom. You already de-ribbed, you got your whole flay. Delicious crappie, these are gonna be some giant flays. That's a small one, wow. What an epic morning at the Goose Pond Dock there. The Marina Dock, just loaded with crappie. Thousands of crappie. I'm wondering how many crappie are sitting under that that just weren't biting, because we put that camera down and that was insane how many fish were down there. Just goes to show you, there's way more there than you catch. And we know that because of live scope, but bank fishing, just keep switching it up, keep trying different presentations. Took me about an hour to figure out how to catch them today. I don't know if you could tell from the video, but I switched my jigs, my combinations, and then we finally got them dialed in. That was awesome. Those were massive fish. I haven't caught that many big crappie in a long time. Uh, as far as 14, 15, 16 inch fish go, those were huge fish. Flayed them up and they're gonna eat good. They're gonna eat good. So, hope you enjoyed the video. God bless you. Remember, if you come to Lake Gunnersville here, please book our tiny homes. Uh, you can book them at link below or call in 256 504 1303. And remember, we're selling the bass boat. If you didn't see my big news update video, please go give it a watch. We're selling the bass boat. It, shows what it looks like without the wrap. It's a white with a red Z stripe bass cap, 2007. And it's coming with everything on it. All the graphs, all the electronics, most up to date stuff, live scope, pole mount, everything. You're getting a deal 
boat ready to go fishing. Good used boat price. 2007, not new, not new. But it, it fishes like it's new. So God bless you. Let me know if you're interested in that down below. And then remember, I am doing some fishing trips next year. You guys ask me every week or so, uh, do you guide? Can we go fishing? And I wish I could take all of you fishing, but to raise money for the pro circuit, I am going to do a limited amount of fishing trips. I'm going to do 10, and that is going to include two nights stay in our tiny home, two nights. And so you can come, come down from wherever you're at, spend the night in tiny home, get up, we'll go fish, we'll hang out all day, we'll, we'll eat dinner together, and then you can crash in a tiny home another night and head out the next day if you want. But I'm going to offer those at $1,200 apiece. So if you're interested in that, just reach out to me. We'll make it happen sometime in 2023 to raise money for the pro circuit. So, and to go fishing with more of you guys. So I appreciate all of you. We'll catch you on the next episode here, Fishing with Norby. See you.